It's time for late ripening citrus to bear fruit in this lovely season of thriving green. In a citrus orchard in Zhongxian, farmers are busy pruning the branches of their trees. <laughs> Talking to the farmers is a lady called Wu Yanjie, the general manager of the Chongqing Paisen by Orange Juice Company. She has another identity, working as a deputy to the NPC. As a leader of the Orange Juice Company, she is concerned about the quality of the citrus. While as a deputy to the NPC, she's more concerned about the agricultural industrialization. In actual investigation, we learned that pests and plant diseases in citrus cultivation are a major concern for farmers. We still hope that we have a the problems found in the citrus orchard are also of concern to Wu. How to find a systematic solution to significantly improve the output and quality of citrus? As an MPC deputy, Wu proposed to strengthen the industrial technology systems of modern agriculture and build a big data system for smart agriculture. I think from the past year, we can see the farmers, they have the traditional way to product the um, agricultural products. We find out this is uh, um, have uh, some big problems because their production is very low and it's much lower um, compared to the international uh, production. So um, when we join this um, citrus industry and uh, we bring some modern uh, technology and uh, scientific uh, systems and we teach the farmers to test in the leaves they, if they need the um, uh, nitrogen and we only use the nitrogen for the fertilizer and uh, instead of use the compound fertilizer. So in this way we can reduce the uh, management fee for the farmers and increase their productions. The establishment of an agriculture science and technology system requires not only the advanced technologies, but also the training for the food farmers to help them master these technologies. We really want them to know we have the better way to grow and they can get the better incomes, increase their incomes. So we really want them to change the idea to train them and make more training and so they can get more professionals. As an MPC deputy, Wu pays great attention to investigation at the grassroots level. She talked to fruit farmers and agricultural technicians summarizing the feedback information collected at the grassroots level and forming her suggestions for the MPC. She managed to gain active support at the national level by proposing those suggestions. Last year, I made the suggestion. I, I get uh, contact uh, with the Minister of the Agriculture. I got the great uh, attention from the Ministry of Agriculture. We can see they invest 2.3 billions of the RMB 
to in training to improve the farmer's professional skill. I'm very happy to see this. The suggestion proposed by this NPC deputy brought tangible project funding and strong support plans. Relying on Wu's own company, she has led her team to build over 36,000 acres of standardized citrus orchards and trained more than 60,000 fruit farmers for free. As a result, the coverage of citrus industry has driven 130,000 fruit farmers to become rich. I hope this the The term of the office of the NPC deputies is five years. This year is the last year of Wu's term of NPC deputy. In Wu's opinion, her biggest wish is to focus on increasing the income of fruit farmers during her five-year term. Because I engaged in agriculture, industry for many years. So I suggest we need further support the uh, establish the agriculture standardization system in the entire industrial chain to improve the, um, the quality of the grading system to promote the standard to be in line in international standards. At the same time, we need to increase our financial support for construction and promotion the standard system. And we really hope the farmers, they understand the um, benefit brought by the standard. They will get uh, um, continuous increase their income and will get a better life.